All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad Y700 14 ISK model 80NU. So, first, what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. You'll use a PH or a J1 screwdriver bit. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so just remove those 11 screws. After you do that, we'll have to try and pull up the clips. Um, this model, the clips seem to be very strong. Um, so I will start here and kind of pull on this. So there's a little gap here. Let's see if I can get it open. So, hmm, it's stuck very strong. Okay, let's see. Where can I find a weak spot to open this up? Well, let's remove the SD card um, protector. All right. So sometimes um, opening these little slots, you can find a place to start. Um, I'll try with the pry tool because it's difficult to get the fingernails to open it. These clips seem to be very strong. Even with the pry tool, they don't want to pop out. Okay, so we got some clips up. So hopefully you're able to see that I stuck the pry tool in there and then I'm pulling it up this way. All right, so it looks like it's working. We'll go around. Okay, now that we got that up, it looks like it's popping open. So just pull that cover up while you push down on the outside. Let's see if it comes out. Okay, there we go. So now that we pulled that up, it looks like all of it's coming up not too bad. All right. So the initial bit is the hard part. Um, it looks like it's easier to start from here and then go around this side and then go around the top. Once you get the top, you can kind of pull it and then it pops up. Okay, so now we've got to figure out how to release this top part of the hinge. Let's see if lifting this will kind of help. Sometimes lifting it and pushing forward because it curls around. All right. Hmm. Wow, this clip mechanism is tough. Okay, let's try here. So up here, there's some more clips, it looks like. Yep, it's working. All right, so pull on those clips. Now you can see this side is opening, so you can pull on that. So it looks like when you pull this, um, you want to pull mainly just this um, kind of metalish layer, and that looks like it's coming out. Yep, all right, and then we got to get this side also. So just underneath the metal part of this, all right? Once you get all those clips out, it should hopefully pop out. Are there still some clips holding it somewhere? Let's see here. All those clips are out. Hmm. Something is still holding it though. All these clips are out. Okay, is there a clip on the side here as well? Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see, here, it's getting caught here for some reason. It should just slide off. This is kind of strange that it's not coming out. Something's still caught there. I don't know why. Hmm. Alright, we'll just try and pull it. Yeah, it's still stuck. I don't want to use too much force and then end up damaging something, so let's see here. Oh, okay. I think the speaker is stuck in there. And that the speaker's stuck in there for some reason, and that's preventing this whole piece from coming out. There we go. Okay. So I don't know why the speaker was getting caught there, but yeah, if you can, you can reach it and try and push the speaker down. And once we got that, here you can see, so this is how this part was clipping in. All right, the hardest part of this seems to be just undoing all those clips. Okay, so we'll set that aside. You can see the fans kind of dusty. So you got the GPU, uh, I believe is here, and the CPU, actually this might be the, hmm, why are there so many chips all over the place? This is most likely the CPU and then the GPU. And then there's like the little GPU memory chips that will go around. All right, let's see here, the RAM. We got eight gigs, PC4, 
2133P, so if you need to get more RAM, that's what you would get. All right. Put the RAM back in at an angle, push it down. All right, you got the CMOS battery connector here, it looks like. Um, and you got the battery. Usually if you're going to work on stuff um, like the screen connector, you'll want to disconnect the battery first. So I'm going to take the battery out. Let's see, there's one screw holding it here. Okay, there's another one holding it on this side. All right, and then there's two on this side. And I think that's all of them. It looks like this battery has a little sliding mechanism to remove it. So once you remove the screws, you have to slide it over to the right. Once you slide it to the right, you can lift it out. All right, so make sure when you put it back, you have to put it slightly to the right and then slide it over. All right, so to remove the battery, you lift it up, grab as close as you can to the connector, and then just wiggle it. Don't pull really hard, just keep wiggling it, and it'll eventually come out just like that. All right, after you remove the battery, um, it's always a good idea to hold the power button. Open the screen slowly since you don't have all the screws holding the hinges down. All right, and then hold the power button for about 15 seconds. Usually that's enough to drain out any power. Um, if you're wondering on the battery, the battery model, I don't know if you can see it, is L14. Let me point to it. L14M3P24, so right there. Okay, so if you need to replace the battery, that's what you would get. All right, so here you can see the hard drive. They have a little warranty sticker over it. This is a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Um, if you need to take it out, there are one, two, three, four screws holding it down, and then you can take it out. To remove the connector, I just use my fingernails and then kind of like pry this out like this. Um, if you can't pull it out, uh, one way you can do that is pull it forward a little just so there's a gap there. And then if you have a thin pry tool like this, then you can insert it and then you can twist it slightly. Don't put the tool too far down because you don't want to um, uh, damage the, the connectors there. Um, but that's how you would do that, okay? All right, so put this back in because I'm not replacing it. I'm just opening it so I can clean it out and figured I'd kind of show you what's inside this computer. All right, you got the USB port, the headphone, um, and the one key recovery button. They're all on this one little board. So if you want to take that out, take the hard drive out, there's the screws holding it in place and you can lift that board out. There's this connector here to remove the connector. Just flip up this little latch and you can pull it out. All right. Um, then you got the DC jack here. The cable runs along underneath and then it plugs in over here. Just like with all the other connectors, you just grab it as close to the connector as you can. Just keep wiggling it and it'll eventually pop out. You got the speaker. I believe this is a speaker connector here. Um, and it runs all the way up to this. And then the wire goes all the way to the speaker as well. And then you got the fan connectors here. Um, connects both fans, it looks like. Wireless card. You take this one screw out. This metal bracket will come up. To remove the antennas, you just go as close to the tail as you can and pull straight up. Don't try and pry the connectors off the, the wireless card. Um, once you remove the screw, it'll pop up like the, the RAM, just like this. And then you can pull it out. So to put it back, same thing, put it at an angle, push it down. All right. And here again, the CMOS battery. Then you got the touchpad connector here. Same thing, lift up these little connectors. You got the keyboard backlight connector and then the keyboard connector. Um, it looks like there's an M.2 SSD slot here. Uh, most gaming laptops will support NVMe PCIe um, cards. I'm not 100% sure, but um, there's a pretty good chance. You'll have to like Google that if you want to check that. Um, then you got this uh, cable for the LEDs on the front. And I think that's all there is to this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take the whole thing completely apart. Um, because to do that I'd have to undo all the heat sinks and everything or at least pull the whole board and I don't want to mess with stuff that I don't need to on a customer's computer. So that's pretty much all there is to this that I'm going to show. Um, there's another slot here for RAM if you want to um, add a second uh, stick of RAM. Um, it's usually good to have two that are matching so that way you take advantage of dual channel memory. If you just have one it won't run as fast. Um, but other than that, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Um, one other thing, if you put an M.2 SSD here, you do need to have the little screw. 
Um, if not, I don't know how you'll hold it down. You can maybe put some kind of pad on top to keep it held down, but then it might make it run hot. So find out um, if there's a screw for this. I don't know if anything, you can maybe use one of the screws from the battery. Let me try that actually. Yeah, if anything, you can use one of the screws from the battery to mount the M.2 SSD. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.